Hey friends, Drew here in beautiful Kenneth Square, Pennsylvania, and uh, working on a couple of uh, roof repairs for some folks. We've had some pretty nasty storms come through here recently, take some stuff off. And the question we get asked a lot is, why do shingles blow off your house? Uh, a couple different reasons, a couple things can cause this. Uh, if you've got a three tab shingle roof, this is an architectural dimensional shingle. It's got, kind of looks like a, a slate pattern-ish uh, to the tile. The old style roofs were three tab shingles. And when the adhesive underneath that, that lower Part of the tab starts to wear and just doesn't hold as much anymore. The wind very easily lifts those up. The tabs slip up in the wind, they snap off. It's just indicative of a 15, 20, 25 year old roof. The adhesives just aren't holding anymore. Um, but when you've got a relatively young roof like this and it's in that dimensional style where you've got a lot more adhesive, they run a, a tar strip pretty continuous one end to the other at the bottom of the shingle. You can see that there. Um, that does a much better job of holding these together. So why do they blow off? Well, a lot of times what we find is the roofers were going way too quick and uh, they missed a couple of nails along the way. I personally like to sit between five and six nails in every one of these shingles. Uh, I think the shingle, the manufacturers will tell you, tell you that somewhere. I got to go and look at the specific bag for which one, you know, what they require, what they recommend, because each one's a little bit different. But generally speaking, especially high wind areas, you want to have six nails per shingle. Um, and they may, some manufacturers may ask for more than that. But when you don't get anywhere close to that, let's take a look at the shingle that blew off of this roof here. Um, so what you can see is over here on this side of the frame, we've got two nail holes there. One, two. Okay, great. Now along the whole rest of the shingle, there aren't any nails till you get to this end where it ripped out. And there's also none in the top edge up here where my hand is. There's no nail holes anywhere across the top of here. Now, if you do this right and you put the nails through that tar line, you're not only gonna catch this shingle, but you're gonna catch the top half of the one below it. So you get double the protection. You've got, you know, instead of six nails, you got 12 nails holding that shingle. And if you nail too high and you get up here in the top part, now you've only got nails holding that. You don't have nails holding the shingle below it. And you're so far above that bottom edge when the wind gets in there, it's just got so much leverage to rip and tear things off. So what I think happened here, I'm guessing that this was the culprit that started it all. They had three nails in it and that was it. And the shingle above was nailed too high. So there was no nails from that that were helping it out. And uh, the wind was just able to get underneath one. And once it lifted one off, well, the way shingles are stacked, not too hard to start with one and take it all the way across the roof. So that's the problem here. We've got come up with our uh, shingle color match. We pretty much know what we need to get. So uh, I've called that into our supplier. The guys are actually on the way over from the previous job. They're on their way here now and they're gonna pick up those shingles along the way and bring them out and install it. We also have some shingles that blew off the shed. So we're gonna get some charcoal for that and uh, put that back together. And then we've got another customer to have to, to take care of his, his roof patch and, and what's going on there. So if we can help solve a problem for you, give us a call, 484-748-0008. Choose option two for cup construction, renovation, extension two, four new projects. And our staff will be helping help you out weekdays, 9.30 in the morning until two in the afternoon. Um, if you have a pretty substantial blow off and you'd like to consider putting that in through your insurance company, we can absolutely make you a referral to a public adjuster who can look at your policy for you, who can look at the damage in a roof and determine whether it makes sense to call your insurance company and get them involved or not, uh, because you don't want to just call them up and potentially trigger a, a rate increase just because you made a phone call. So it's good to talk to uh, Anthony first. And so we can get you his phone number, get you in touch with him and he can take a look at things and determine whether he, A, he thinks you have a claim and whether uh, he can get you, help you get more money than you may be able to get uh, negotiating on your own. So you can evaluate his services and see if that makes sense uh, for you. So we've got what we need here. I've got my uh, color match. We've called them the supplier. The guys are on their way. They're gonna pick that up and come on and get this taken care of. If you have a shingle blow off, if you have a siding blow off, if you have rake board capping, this aluminum stuff up here, if that blows off the side of your house and you just put that back together for you. The fastest way to reach us is absolutely to take a picture of the damage and send it to us on our Facebook page. Facebook.com forward slash Copeville for Cope Construction and Renovation. Uh, get us some pictures. We can get you a ballpark estimate just from the photos usually. And then if you like that, we'll talk about coming out and taking measurements and figuring out what we need to do. Or we may be able to just do the whole thing right from the pictures. Um, we're having fun solving problems. I know a lot of folks have been calling in this weekend because of all the wind damage. We're getting everybody just as quickly as we can. Please be patient with us. We appreciate that. And like I said, the fastest way to reach our team is through Facebook Messenger. If you're a little bit more old school, give us a phone call. I'm sorry, we don't do text messages. Our, our phone system doesn't allow for that. It's a business PBX thing. It doesn't do text. 
Um, so send us, give us a phone call or send us a message here on Facebook and we will get to you just as quickly as we can. I think we have a little bit of availability left at the end of this week for some of these small emergency things. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a Facebook message, 484-748-0008, choose option two for Cope Construction Renovation Extension 2 for new projects. We are your Pennsylvania Home Improvement Contractor number 88078. Remember, when we're done, we're done with it, it's not just done. It's Cope Built. We'll catch you guys in another video. Bye for now.